Hello friends, in this video we will discuss about one more problem given in signals and systems for gate 2019 in electronics and communication stream. So this problem is related to first Fourier transform and the problem goes like this. So six point decimation in time fast Fourier transform algorithm. So we are interested in finding the value of x of 1 and it is asked that so what should be the uh, scaling factors for the butterfly diagram a1 a2 and a3 in this diagram okay so let us solve this problem from the beginning and it's the six point dft is given by x of k equal to n equal to 0 to 5 x of n w6 power kn so if we expand this we can easily see that x of k would be equal to the term this term involving seven uh, elements okay but as we are interested in evaluating only x of 1 we get that by substituting k equal to 1 in this equation okay so what do we get so x of 0 turns out to be x of 1 turns out to be x of 0 note that we have replaced our k with 1 and hence you will get x of 0 plus x of 1 w6 plus x of 2 w6 power 2 and so on okay so if you do substitution for w6 whole cube so that is nothing but exponential of e power minus j 2 pi by 6 whole cube so that simplifies to e power minus j pi and which is equal to minus 1 so similarly w6 power 4 can be split into w6 whole cube into w6 but w6 whole cube just now we have seen that that is equal to minus 1 and hence w6 power 4 would be equal to minus w6 and similar fashion w6 power 5 can be written as w6 whole cube into w6 whole square again w6 whole cube can be replaced with minus 1 and hence this would be equal to minus w6 whole square so by substituting this in this equation substituting these three values in this equation we get x of 1 not that we have replaced w6 power 3 with minus 1 and hence we will get x of 0 plus minus x of minus 3 and similarly w6 whole power 4 we replace with minus w6 and hence we get w6 times x of 1 minus x of 4 and similarly last term would be w6 whole square into x of 2 minus x of 5 now if you look at this butterfly diagram so we are almost there so first term x of 0 minus x of 3 is here so so here you will get x of 0 minus x of 3 and that fellow is multiplied with a1 so we directly got x of 0 minus x of 3 and hence this a1 should be equal to 1 so similarly the second term is w6 times x1 minus x4 so this is our x1 and this is our x of 4 and hence the term here would be equal to x of 1 minus x of 4 and that fellow should be multiplied with w6 and hence this term should be equal to w6 so similarly the last term is x of 2 minus x of 4 x of 2 minus x of 5 multiplied with w6 whole square so here we got x of 2 here we got x of 5 so here this would be equal to x of 2 minus x of 5 and this fellow is should be multiplied with w6 whole square so to get our complete x of 1 and hence what do we see we see that a1 should be equal to 1 and a2 should be equal to w6 and a3 should be equal to w6 whole square so in this way we can solve this problem and this hopefully you have understood this problem thank you